morning. Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today, I thought I'd share with you guys what I got in my BoxyCharm and some products that I did pick up and some products that were sent to me and I won in a couple giveaways. So, so if you guys would like to stick around and see what I got, keep on watching. I wanted to come on here and share some products. I did pick up some products, some products were sent to me. And also I did win a couple giveaways. I was like, whoa, I, I was pretty ecstatic, of course, you know, if you win a giveaway. But I did win a couple of them and I was pretty excited for each of them. One is for nails and one is uh, skincare. It's a tool. So let me go ahead and show you the two giveaways I won. So the first giveaway I won was actually from Sharon Capehart. She was doing a review on the Myotown that a lot of the beauty uh, YouTubers have been sharing on here and it is a facial toning system. Oh heck yeah, I am excited to try this. And then in here she gave me a nice beautiful card. I thought it was cute because it has purple, like a purple uh, flower on there. I can't think of the name of the flower there, but you know, and she wrote it in here for me and everything. Here's what the system looks like. I will be starting to use this soon. I've been putting it on hold because I've had other products sent to me, other products I'm using, and I just uh, want to give this a fair try. So here's what the tool system looks like. It's really cool. It is really, really cool. There's different settings on here, and you can put it in certain areas and it's supposed to help pulse and tone, um, tone those areas. And actually in here was two, not just one, but it's the um, inductive gel. There's like a gel that you can put on. So it slides around and moves around a little bit more. I cannot wait to try it out and see what it does and give you my results of what I'm gonna experience in it. I think it's like a 28 day trial period. So the next giveaway I was super excited about because I, lack nails. If you guys know me, I lack on my nails. I mean, seriously, look at my nails. Which, by the way, my ring here, I get a lot of people asking me about my ring. My ring, uh, you know, it is not a real diamond. A lot of people be like, oh my gosh, you know, like they'll be all, this is not a real diamond. It is a cubic zirconia. But what happened was uh, my husband and I, when we got married, and everything. We had like a small wedding and all that stuff. And he never got me an engagement ring. Just like we, we just got married and had the wedding. And we went to Atlantic City. And when we went to Atlantic City, he decided he wanted to pop the question all over again in the way he would have liked to have done it. Uh, what most of you know, he's from England. So uh, yeah, on his stay here, when he was here from England, like he was here three or four different times. So his third time or fourth time is when we decided we wanted to make it official because it was very hard when he'd leave and you know, you have to go through that long process of waiting for him to come back. It was just, you know, he wanted to make the official part that he wanted to do that he never felt like he got to do. And it was on the beach. I know, I mean, seriously, if it could be any more romantic than that. And it was on the beach. I didn't even expect it, was not even expecting it. And he did on the beach, you know, and gave me a ring and it was a real diamond ring and everything. So sadly, a couple years later, maybe a year later, his family came over. They wanted to go to Atlantic City. They wanted to go because it's a nice trip to go on the bus that I go. It's like kind of a nice, affordable trip to go to. You know, you're on the beach on top of it all. Just, you know, it's, it's fun. I love Atlantic City. I do. I love it. And his parents could go when they came to visit. And, you know, uh, my kids got to go. It was really nice. We all got to go together like that on our way back home. And at this point, the ring that he got me, I noticed it was kind of getting a little bit loose. I did notice that, but I was losing some weight. He was saying something about his neck and I went to reach over while we were on the bus and the thing slipped off and it fell. I still get emotional about talking about it because, um, you know, you, you, you can always get something again, but never replaces that, you know. So we looked for it, the bus stopped, looked for it, looked for it. And even within days later, the bus company never found it. They might have somebody else might have found it and took it, who knows? You know, I don't know. I remember my feeling just 
the way I felt in that moment. It was so horrible. So I really didn't care at that point. Like when I knew I wanted something and this has like, it looks like a matching wedding band with it too. I just wanted to have something to feel, you know, <laughs> but it's, it's, it, it doesn't feel the same. It was horrible. So that's what, how I got this one. So yeah, it's not real. It is cubic zirconia, but I don't care. It's the thought that counts and what it's supposed to represent is what means the most to me. So nails. I lack my nails ugh, badly. So bombshell nails. I believe that's. I'll put links down below to Sharon's um, channel as well as bombshell nails. She does a really good job. I love watching how she does nails and she'll use them plates that a lot of people use to put designs on her nails, which I've never really seen that too much. I was watching other people do designs in a different way. She had a giveaway and I won and I was super excited. She had given me packs of glitter. There's some different glitters in here. She even gave me um, a sort of glitter here too, like on the one side. And here's all the stampers. I have a one of the stampers that you use when you're putting on from the um, plates that you get. She did give me some Swarovski crystals that you could put on top of your nails. You know, some people put like a little crystal and stuff. I got a whole bunch of nail polishes in here that she had put in. So I do have quite a few nail polishes in the box. Oh, she did give me a card. She did give me a nice card, all nice with glitter and stuff. Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. And yeah, like a whole nice little note in there. And then the plates were actually wrapped in a nice ribbon. But here is the plates that, you know, she had given me. There's several different ones here. Like this one says tropical. This one says tropical on it. Those are the designs that you can, you remove that film. And then those are all the designs that you can use. So I'm going to be able to play around with some nails. So, so next, uh, the company Zen Abaji, the skin, what is it? The Zo Skin Health. You know, I talk about them a lot, but if I do feel really good about a company, a brand, a product or anything, yeah, I am going to rave over it. And, you know, I mean, that's pretty much a good thing. These are my opinions, my own opinions. It's not because they're sending me products that I'm like, raving because I've had other companies send me skin products or makeup products or hair products or something like that. But if I rave over it a lot, it's because I do feel it's worthwhile and I do see results. So I did write to them and ask them about some of the other products that I was interested in trying out. And this here is the Immerse Renewal Cream Anti-Aging Formula. I and this cream here I wanted to get, it's more for the daytime. It's a nice, light, velvety, smooth uh, moisturizer. It's really nice. I seen where it said that you can do your retinol, which I'm using a retinol from uh, the Xenobaji. It says that you can mix them together. And a lot of people have said that that kind of even did a double roll, double play in their skincare. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try that. I'm going to work it in with that. Then I asked for, this is a lash enhancing serum. So this is one of those serums that you can use for your lashes. This lash serum is a powerful blend of peptides proven to enhance the appearance of eyelash thickness and length. And it improves the look of thinning sparse lashes and brows. So you can actually do it on your brows too. And I have used it twice so far. So we will see how it goes. But it is one of those pens like this where it has a tip on the end and you twist down here and it clicks. And then you put it on along your lash line. You could do it on your lower lash line too. You have to be very careful. You don't want it to go in your eye or anything like that. But you work it and you do it at night before you're going to go to bed. And I've done it twice so far, uh, blessed with some not bad eyelashes still. So, but I wanna work with this and see if it improves them more because I have noticed uh, when I don't have mascara, you know, just, I have noticed my, la my eyelashes don't look the same, you know, as we're aging, that's another thing. You know, you lose your la lashes and everything. So I, yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. 
And then this I wanted to try out so badly because I thought this is going to help me in two different ways. This is Eclipse Sunscreen Plus Primer. And this is a uh, broad spectrum SPF 30. So I thought I'd give this a try and it's pretty cool because it is tinted. And so I like it. It's one of the ones that you twist up. I did use it once the other day and I did like it. It does have a nice velvet smoothness to it too. Right there, you'll see right there, it is tinted in color. So let's hide, see if we can see how, look at that. And it does give a nice smoothness to it. It looks really nice. Actually, used this with a powder foundation is what I did because uh, something like this I wouldn't want to wear a liquid foundation I wouldn't want to that's just me so I thought this is good because um, it's also a primer a tinted primer and it's also SPF so these are products I did purchase which I did show you guys the elf hydrating bubble mask I did a review I could put the link down below to this I have to say guys I am liking it a little bit more each time I use it I do feel it does give a nice little clean hydrating feel to my skin. The other product I got was, this is new from Dow, it's Silk and Magnolia, and it says for healthy soft skin restoring body wash. It has silk protein and magnolium blossom in there, which, ooh, does that not look so girly, pretty, pink, and pearly. That kind of rhymed, didn't it? <laughs> didn't even mean to make it do that, but. It smells, mm, it smells really nice. And some of my favorite body washes, I, I do trust Dow and then Dove I love a lot and then Cress. Tone I like too, but I'd say those are some of my favorites. I had to pick myself up some deodorant. My favorite deodorant actually is Secret and I like the gel kind. I don't mind the white powder kind of looking stuff, but I do prefer more the gel. I'm, I've been picky with that because I, I feel like the gel stays better there and it doesn't dispense anything on shirts like where some white powders can if you know what I mean I'm sure we've you've all experienced that along with me you get the whiteness and it's like ah so this is called Paris Rose and it was a little bit more like 30% more so I thought I'd give this one a try I am one of the people that pick this up and I'll go you know and it does smell nice I, I even sniffed deodorant like what the heck Lori when I'm in the owls. Maybe you guys are with me on that though. Other one of the things I got, I seen these in Walmart and I thought I wanted to give them a try. And it says the Collagen Hydrogel Golden Mask. And I know a lot of people have uh, been using some golden masks, the Peter Thomas Roth and everything. This says skin tightening elast elasticity intense. It's hydrating gold gel mask loaded with collagen and gold will help hydrate, revitalize dull fatigued skin while detoxifying the impurities in the skin to give an overall glow and life to the skin. So we will see. Some of these products, because I'm thinking of doing, is demonstrating them with you and then telling you my first impressions. So we shall see. I finally, finally got the all famous highlighter from Wet n Wild that a lot of people really like. This is the Precious Petals. I don't have mine open right now, but you probably have seen other people share it. And it is a really, really gorgeous highlighter. Really pretty. And then I finally, because I do have the Mocha, I bought the Mocha lipstick, liquid lipstick color, and I love that. A lot of people even told me that they thought it looked really nice. This one's the Rebel Rose shade, and it's that real pretty uh, pinky mauve kind of a shade or something like that, like a neutral, a neutral mauve shade. And then I saved last the boxy charm because I know the only thing I love receiving these, but to share them with everybody all the time, I feel like we see it over and over and over from so many different people. You know, I mean, like maybe not everybody because maybe somebody hasn't seen it, and I kind of wanted to put these on for you and you watch me put them on like I did the last time because I like that idea and sadly the way my scheduling worked out and everything uh, with how things were for me I couldn't squeeze that in and I didn't get my boxycharm till late I actually got it just the other couple days ago so I kind of got mine late on top of it all which kind of stunk boxycharm what's going on there so 
So anyway, this is creepy cute. I don't even understand the creepy cute. I'm not sure what they're, I don't know what they're going for there. Now the card will tell you what some of the, what the products are and the price point for them and everything. So I was super excited because I've been enjoying my BoxyCharm. I have some products on, so I did get to try them. Now I have had a sample and this is the Smashbox uh, photo, photo Finish Foundation Primer, which speaking of Sharon Capehart that I was talking about that I won her giveaway, this is one of her favorite primers. This one is actually the deluxe sample. It's not the full size. I kind of was hoping to have the full size because I feel like they always usually do give us full size, but that's a nice, the deluxe sample sizes are pretty nice and big. This one would retail $16 for the deluxe sample. Okay, so we've got another fan brush. So this one's from Crown Brush, and I have heard of that company. So it's nice and thick. It's more thicker than the one that we got the last time. And oh my goodness, it feels super, super, super duper soft. And it's nice and thick. So we will see, I mean, contouring could be, I've heard some people say, so we shall see. Okay, so the fan brush is, where's is that? Deluxe Fan Brush by Crown Brush. It retails for $18.99. Mind you, the box is $21 a month. The next thing is Naked Cosmetics. And this is a trio eyeshadow palette that they had given us. The uh, casing is plastic, that plastic um, kind of casing and everything, but it does feel pretty durable. And oh my goodness, when I seen the people showing this and the colors, I could not be believe because these are colors that call to my name. Now I do have, and I'm not sure how well you're going to see on my eyelid, I do have this color right here. And it, to me, looks like a, uh, a golden green color, like old gold maybe even or something like that. Uh, this is called Urban Rustic Palette by Naked Cosmetics. Retail price is $39.99. And I will tell you what the pigmentation. This one's more like a coppery shade. And then this is more of a plummy, burgundy kind of a shade. So there's the shades all on my fingers there. Look how pigmented that is. That's the one I have on my eyelids right now. Which there it is right there. So it's like a greenish gold. There's the one that's more copper orange shade. And then there's the cranberry purple. Insane pigmentation, crazy. So that's the eyeshadow palette they had given us. And I, I really like it. Then we have two lip products, which I am wearing the lip products on right now. It's from the company actually called Real Her. I've seen other people sharing that. That's the name of the company, Real Her. They gave us a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. At first, I didn't realize this was a liquid lipstick. I thought it was just a lipstick, and I was pulling and pulling and pulling. And then I realized, oh, you screwed off there. And this shade is actually called Lady Love, and it is a really pretty color. It is matte. It will dry down to a matte shade. Really pretty, pretty color. It is kind of a peachy nude, I think I would call it. And then the lip liner, so the lip liner is called I Am Unstoppable. So, oh yeah, I'll tell you the price of the liquid lipstick here. Okay, the matte liquid lipstick by Real Her, price $15. And the lip liner is $12.50. So there is the liner, I'll put it above here. And it does match right with that there on top, right there. All right, beauties, that is everything I have that I purchased, that I got sent to me and my winnings and everything. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. And if you are not with me or subscribed to me, please go ahead and go down and click on the subscribe button down below. Also click on the bell so that way you'll be notified of when my videos will be up each week and you can come and join me and see what's going on, what I'm sharing and everything and what I'm liking, maybe not liking and all that good stuff. And as always beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.